What is going on friends, we are back with game 2 between Sabella and CL OT Grand Finals and I don't know why the fuck there's a Pikachu but there is a Pikachu, Pikachu plus Tapu Koko, also CL has a Kyurem um, and no hazard control, that's really wild, so I still with either Z-Move Kyurem or Z-Move Koko on CL's side, um, he either doesn't have a Scarf or it could be Scarf Lando, if he doesn't have a Scarf he still has a defensive backbone and Steeler packs and potential E-Speed on Pikachu, and on Sabella's side it has to be AV Magirna, uh, T-Punch Mora because he has Electric Terrain Coco, Tailglow, Manaphy and then probably Scarf Lari and then I assume the Coco or the Manaphy is the Z-Move user. The lander should be defensive on Sabella's side. So we do see that Intimidate goes before Electric Terrain so this is a Scarf Lando from, from CL's side. CL already played aggressive in game 1 so I assume he's just gonna play safe this time. Uh, last game he stayed in. Um, you guys can check out game 1, it's gonna be linked at the end of the video if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, game 1 last time he made an aggro play already, uh, staying in with Lando on Greninja U-turn. So I, don't, I didn't think he would play aggressive again, so uh, Sabella can get up the rocks here. And the Kyurem can either click Fusion Bolt here, expecting the gear to come out, or he can also click his Z-move if he's Z-move. Like, I'm not sure obviously yet if it's the Kyurem or Life Orb. So we do see the sub zero Slammer most likely. It's gonna do like half, mm -hmm, a little bit more. So Magina does die to Fusion Bolt, and Magina's already weakened. Uh, which is amazing for stuff like Coco. And Thiel could technically Ice Beam predict in the Lari here, but he doesn't have to because Fusion Bolt Electric Terrain Boost it still does a good chunk to the Lari. And Thiel has a Coco and a Steela in the back, so even if the Lari comes out, it's not um, that bad for Thiel, right? But yeah, Thiel has rocks on his side and he's not gonna be able to get rid of them. So I do understand, I would understand if he Ice Beams here trying to catch the Lari because he wants to put in work with his Kyurem before he switches out and he, like, because if he switches out he takes rocks and he gets put in range from certain hits potentially, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, if the Coco is not Specs and the Kyurem takes rocks then Dazzling him kills the Kyurem after rocks. If it's Specs it kills anyway I think, but yeah, just Fusion Bolts and plays it safe. So now we have, I don't want to say 50-50 going on, but there's a few options here. CL can... Either go into Celesteela or Coco predicting a Draco. Um, like Coco would also cover the trick play, that's why I'm mentioning Drake, Coco, but also covers Draco. Um, or CL could predict Sabella to double out. Um, what would Sabella double out into? Yeah, Sabella, oh, doubles into Coco, predicting into Celesteela. And CL stays in there catching him. Um, I, that is an understandable play by CL. Their crit is unfortunate. Um, the crit only did 88 because um, Kyurem only runs um, physical attack on a Z-move set. So if this is Specs, Dazzling Gleam is gonna kill the Kyurem. I don't think that CL would risk anything. I mean, if maybe he could sack his Pikachu because <laughs> it's a Pikachu, but if he bring it, he wanted to do some work, and especially if you guys want Pikachu to put in work, I'm also hoping for it, obviously. I don't think it's worth it to go Paxi and risk anything. He stays in, and it's not Specs Coco. Um, so I guess it was... Maybe ZT Bolt Coco, something like that. It could still be the Manaphy. And so he goes to Lari here. Sabella is probably just gonna Psy Shock. I mean, the Kyurem is at 6% after rocks. CL saves it, goes into Celesteela. I guess Draco works here as well. I thought Psy Shock because you don't want to miss, but it's fine. Draco does a little bit more to Celesteela. So CL can leech it here to stay healthy with his Celesteela. Um, I forgot to mention something earlier. What, what are. I forgot, I was some talking about something. Uh, he goes Landris, not sure why, because CL can double leech sheet here. Um, this Lando should be defensive and rocks are already up, so like the only thing that Lando could also, also do would be knock off. Uh, so it's hidden power eyes most likely because it was resisted by the Manaphy and went for it on the Landorus. Um, we do see it's a leftovers Manaphy, okay, so it's not Z-move, so I assume that the Coco was Z-Gigavolt Havoc. Um, so CL is gonna switch here, um, I guess he's gonna sack his Kyurem, yeah, because um, going hard Coco is unnecessary risky, like he could have gone hard Coco predicting the the, the tail glow, but there was no point in doing that. So you can just click surf here or psychic, whatever he has. So since we have lefties, this could. Hmm. Rainance could be cool because then you don't get toxic by um, Toxic Packs. So he goes in the Coco here, obviously, and he's just gonna click T Bolt because um, there's a plus three mana fee in front of you, you don't wanna predict. Sabla just goes in the lander, is knowing that, he forced to, that he's forced to T Bolt. And I guess he doesn't now confirm if the Coco is um, spec, so Sabala still kinda has to fear HP eyes. 
So I would understand if Sabella would switch out into something that covers CL going into Lando and Sal's dealer and that covers him going... I mean, he doesn't even have a play that covered all options. He went to AV gear there, I think, predicting the Sal's dealer to come out and he would have gotten off an electric terrain boosted vault switch, but it didn't work. And yeah, he still didn't want um, his Lando taking a potential HPI. Even though I don't I don't think CL was ever staying in there, even if he was non-choice and he had HPIs, because Coco is too important this match to offensively... I checked the Manaphy because it's defensive ones like Pex can get overwhelmed from Taylor into Psychic. So Manaphy can come out here or um, Morwell can come out. Uh, Morwell has the T-Punch most likely with Electric Terrain. So this is kind of a 50-50 again if he goes Landris and Sabella play rough. CL is in a really bad position because it's Hypercutter. But if CL stays in and Sabella play rough and CL gets the Scald burn, it would have been bad for Sabella. Sabella was um, just playing it safe there. Um, it is kind of understandable because... Um, Pex is really nasty if it stays in and gets the burn, but yeah, it didn't work out for Sabella there. He just plays it safe here, so both players playing safe there. So it wasn't too bad for Sabella. He can now U-turn out here. Um, see how it goes in the Pex, I guess that covered um, HPIs and U-turn. Man, if he comes out. So now... He goes hard for Psychic because he doesn't want CL to go hard into Coco. We do see his Payapa very toxic packs this time, so CL does um, care about his Volcarona matchup. You can see there, he doesn't want to lose to Psychium Z Volk and Toxic. Um, if Sabala has Rainance, he can go for it here. Um, I assume CL is just gonna spam Haze here for a bit, yeah. So he doesn't have Rainance because otherwise he would have gone for it there. Um, I assume Sabala is just gonna Psychic here because there's not really a point in Tail Glowing when he's spamming Haze. He goes into Celestia Break in the Psychic and now the Tail Glow is super obvious. So CL can go hard into Coco here breathing the Tail Glow or hard into Scarf Lando. Most likely uh, Coco is gonna come out here breaking the Tail Glow. So if I'm Sabala here I'm clicking Surf. Clicking Surf every day. Because like it's pretty much a like, kind of obvious pivot from Celestia into Coco. Like, I get that he could have also gone Pex on the serve, but I feel like Coco was quite obvious here. Yeah, CL made that play. Uh, CL is just going to T bolt again. Sabella is most likely just going to go back Lando, exactly. Um, I assume we do see a U turn here from Sabella, and CL should go into. He's either going to go Pex again, or. I don't think he wants to go Stila because he doesn't want to get worn down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pex or his own Lando. Because if he goes Stila. Uh, okay, doubles into gear. That would have, um, I guess, been able to get an electric train boosted volt switch on Pex and on and on Stila as well. Like he didn't wanna, um, like CL didn't wanna go Stila. I get that completely because um, if Stila gets a run down by the rocks, it can be annoying potentially. So now he turns out finally, um, not off quicking there, catching Sabala uh, on the lander. Sabala kept making this play one or two times already. I forgot. I think he did it two times already before this. And now he can go into, if he's HPI, he can go Pikachu here, or he can go um, to his Coco. Yeah, I guess this Sabella, see, has, uh, Coco might not have HPIs, because um, his Pikachu might be HPIs. So Sabella is either going to go, maybe Manaphy breaking HPIs, maybe, maybe Magirna, but I think he still wants health on Magirna to potentially take a hit from Coco, or um, potentially take a hit from Celestia, because usually on a Solvest Megina, you do run um, not max speed and you don't run 31 speed RV, so you get a slow volt switch versus opposing Celestia. If they lead CDU, you like get slow volt switch out. Um. Yeah, but I don't think um, Sabala is ever sacking his Landris here, so CL can definitely predict the switch, but he, okay, he serves. I think that's. What does that for? Is that for heat turn in the OUT? I'm just thinking what it's for in the OUT. There's always no heat turn in this game. That's really weird. Um, so it's, I don't know if Pikachu even gets E speed with Surf because I think it's an event. Um, I think Manaphy has beats Pikachu. I think it's like 90 base speed, right? So he's just gonna Surf or um, Tail Glow. He Surfs and CL just plays it safe, goes into Toxic Packs. And I don't think Sabala. Um, hmm. I assume CL is gonna recover by breaking the psychic. Because like Sabella is not gonna tail glow again because he already went Coco earlier on a tail glow. And I think if you Sabella at this point you're fearing him to go Coco again on a tail glow. So he's probably just gonna psychic or switch out into Landris. So he psychics, CL recovers. And now the thing is the toxic is wrecking up. So I think Scald plus Toxic would kill the man if he at this point. So Tailgrown doesn't even do anything, he could have either Psychic or he could have switched into something there. But you don't want to switch into Scald because it can burn you. 
So I guess he should have just psychic there, but it's rough at this point. So now, what do you do here? So he SD, it stays in, and does he get the burn? If he gets the burn, Sabala is fucked. He's screwed, is what I meant. This is probably game over at this point. He can just haze here, and um, I don't think he has any. He doesn't need his Toxapex anymore. Like this game is pretty um, clearly in CL's favor now that he got that burn. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, yeah, he's just sacking packs. I don't think. I mean, he could also sack Pikachu, <laughs> but if you're bringing in Pikachu and Ulti Finals, he probably wanted to do something. And at this moment, at this point, it didn't do much yet. It only got a little bit of veteran chip on Vanifee. So yeah, Sabal would probably play off here because it also covers um, CL going into Landris if he wants to preserve the packs. But I don't think he would preserve the packs. He just doesn't need it to win and also loses to most. He dodges, unfortunately. Um, he just scuffled. At least he didn't recover there. <laughs> Because then he would have gotten away with a healthy packs. But at this point, only way I see Sabala winning is either CL disconnecting, CL misplaying very hard, or Sabala getting um, maybe some hacks in his favor. Um, it's, yeah, he has to get some crits with his Scarf Lari or something to win at this point. So CL can go into Coco here or. Landorus, but I think Coco is overall safe, especially if he specs and he can click on... If, if specs doesn't even kills the Mora from 30%, then that's a fine play, because that covers um, Sabala going Lari, predicting T-Bolt, or that Sabala sub go covers Sabala going Land or predicting T-Bolt, so specs doesn't even would be a nice mid-ground play. I obviously don't know if he specs yet, but the Curum was the move, so I'm thinking that it, that's definitely an option. Like, that set is super common at the moment, you guys all know it. If you Like, you guys play OU, right? <laughs> Most of my viewers play OU, I assume. But yeah, it's looking like Sabella's gonna take the trophy and be the first person to have three individual. Did I say Sabella? I meant CL. I, I'm not sure I don't what I said. It's super late here. Um, but yeah. Specs doesn't seem definitely the play here if he has it, because... Like, he's not going gear because t would blow the gear away. So he goes Landorus, let's see if he has a mid-ground play. Oh, Hidden Power. That's Hidden Power Fire, most likely. Because you wouldn't go for Hidden Power Ice, because Hidden Power Ice... Um, I don't think it would kill them more while. Um, so that was a good mid-ground. I'm actually not sure if that's specs damage, though. So Bala can U-turn here. I don't think he's risking his Coco. Um, Coco pretty much cleans for, for CL. And he can now go into Scarf Lari and click Psyshock or Draco. I guess Draco because it does more to the Saddle Stila and CL is not gonna risk his Coco. Um, Scarf Lari obviously at speed Scarf Lando. You can go Draco here and CL is either gonna have to sack Pikachu Trick is another option, but you kind of need the Scarf because you want to outspeed the Coco later in the game with the Lai. Like, you need the Scarf for the speed control, so yeah. You just go steal out. Assume we're gonna see a. Yeah, exactly, a Draco. So now CL can lead Sheet because you kind of need to sell a Stila healthy. Sabala's obviously gonna switch here um, into either Magirna or he's gonna sack the Mawile. Like, I know Lead Sheet can miss, but you still need um, health on your Sell Stila. If you get too low, you can lose to Scarf Psyshock, so he misses, but yeah, I would have made the same play, I stand by CL, like, I'm not playing, but I stand by CL's play if I was him. <laughs> so here's a few options, right? CL can either protect here to get more lefties back, because Sabella is most likely gonna vote switch here, and like, Sabella doesn't have a good double that covers protect, so I feel like protect is si fine. The other play, <laughs> fuck, why can I not talk? The other play that CL has is going hard landers. Um, because Sabala is always gonna vote switch here, he's not gonna Flurkan, like, Celestila is annoying to his team, needs damage on Celestila. Seems if you, um, like the hard lander play, Celestila's at 31, so you could still potentially lose to a crit from Lari later in the game, maybe? Hmm. Huh. I think I would protect, but going hard lander is definitely an option, because if you protect first, um, the electric terrain also ends, so the voltage becomes weaker, but no, what I, what I meant to say is if you protect, then the next turn you cannot really go hard land anymore because then he might predict it. But now that the protect, uh, safe protect is an option, going hard land feels like it's um, kind of a safer option. Because this turn I don't think he's clicking anything other than Volt Switch. But next turn if he protect it as an option, he might click something else. So in that regard I would understand if he goes hard land. Though. Um, hmm, this is actually not over yet. Um, 
If Vladi can get a crit or two, so maybe something like that for Sabella. Now, like he only has to crit the Celesteela down. Everything else probably dies to Psyshock, especially after Rocks, yeah. He only has to crit the Celesteela, and I don't think Pikachu can get East Bay with Surf. I think it's Event. Don't, not 100% sure on that, though. <laughs> But yeah, like I said in game one already, um, I record Sabala's entire, not entire run to the finals, I record sometimes the replays, but I have two more series live recorded. I think it was one of the series versus C. Juma and one versus Karen Smith in Loser's Finals. Both of those are going to be coming next day or next week. So he does make the Harlander play on a voltage. Okay, okay. And now I think CL is going to U-Jump break in the Landorus. Let's see. The HP... Ice is ooh fire play that obviously works as well. But if he you done that you could have gotten Pikachu in and I wanna see if Pikachu do some work. Pikachu did nothing this game. Um so Sabala can I guess go back into Megirna here. Or Sabala can predict CL to switch. Yeah, see CL, CL might switch out predicting the Megirna here. Please go Pikachu here on the Megirna. So, so I wanna see P Pikachu getting a kill. Ah, he goes Coco. I mean, I know that works because it covers the gear, but like... Ah, uh, I wanted to see the Pikachu come out there and get a kill with Volt Tackle or something. Man, that would've been so cool. And... HP Fire is probably the play here for CL if it kills. If it doesn't kill, he's gonna T-Bolt. Because, um, I think T-Bolt is still stronger than Hidden Power. Because Hidden Power is only 60 base, so it's 120. And T-Bolt is Stab Electric Train Boosted, so it's still stronger with his gear. Um, Sabala kind of has to like just get the play correct here. Like he can either sack the Morwell or he can hope that CLT balls and go into Landres. I guess I guess he's gonna go Lando hoping for that CLT balls. Yeah, yeah. I don't think HP Fire would kill as an AV gear. What am I saying? Yeah, and even T ball probably won't kill. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess CL might Volt Switch then break in the the Landres. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. He just just sacked the Morwell. Going Landres there would have been fire. I do understand that he w didn't want to make that play, but it would have been fire. So I guess it was specs. Like I don't know confirmed if it was specs because in power only the 29 to land and I guess Coco just isn't that strong. So Pikachu is out. Please get it. I mean now Scarf Lottie comes out and just clicks Drake or Psyshock again. Oh, well on Fort. I don't think Pikachu is gonna get a kill because it's not worth it for CL to risk switching into Scarf Lottie. Um, I think he just has to sack the Pikachu here if the Lottie comes out. <laughs> on Fort. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu is 90 base speed. Okay, I think I got that right earlier. Look at this base, that's 35 HP, 55 attack, 40 defense. I mean, with Light Ball, it's like not that weak, the offense stats, but the defense and the speed is kind of eh, and the bulk of the HP are so eh, not that good. Um, so the Steeler is at 31. I don't think I would go Hard Steeler. Like, after Rock Steeler is at 31, and then if you crit, get crit, your Steeler dies. So I think I would just sack the Pikachu here, as sad as it is, sounds. <laughs> Like, risking your Steeler getting crit is just not worth it. That's how I feel about this. Like, earlier his still Steeler was healthier, so I think he could have lived the crit even, but now I don't think he can live a crit anymore. Um, I think if he goes Steeler, um, Draco would, like, leave him at, like, 8%, something like that. Maybe at 6%, he would bring him super low. That's not worth it. Like, I don't know if he would be able to take 2 with Protect. And also there's the risk of getting crit. So he just side shocks, okay, he didn't even Draco. Um, that also covers the Coco, so understandable why, but he wasn't going Coco ever there. So Celestia comes out, and I mean, he might be tempted to heavy slam because he already missed a lead sheet earlier. They're saying no because Pikachu didn't do anything and it just died. Um, I'm still gonna put a baby Pikachu in a thumbnail. I assume he might heavy slam here because he already missed a lead sheet earlier and he doesn't want to miss again. But the Ladi is forced to switch because he's locked into side shock. Side shock doesn't do anything to Steela. Um... I guess if Eladi dodges a, side sh uh, a lead sheet here and crits the side shock, we see the Bella might be in business, but he's most likely either gonna sack Landris here or. Um, I guess heavy slamming would help CL in the sense that if Lando gets sacked here, he gets a boost in one of his defense stats. That's the only reason why heavy slam would be better. Otherwise, I feel like lead sheet would be nice to get the health back. But there's the gear, and this time CL should just protect, and Electric Turin is gonna end next turn. Like, I don't think risking Lando here is the play. Um, I mean, this dealer kind of solo, so why wouldn't you protect against some health back? No, the thing is, the thing is, um, 
Yeah, yeah, on Megina he cannot leech sheet. No, like, like this turn, is, or like if you protect the next turn, he can leech sheet because then the Megina gets a slow vault. Okay, so he goes land again. Okay. I guess CL just um, is the Lord, but Sabella predicted that this time. Yeah, I said it's the Lord because um, I didn't think he would make the Lando play, but Sabella says no boy, he predicts that. Okay. Yeah, like I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made that play. So Sabella, I've been there because it covered the hard line and covered the protect. So Coco comes out and Coco just clicks in power fire or gleam. If gleam kills, gleam is the play. But AV gear is fat as fuck, so I don't know if gleam kills. <laughs> Like, Galeem might be a roll or something. The thing is, so Sabella either sacks the gear or the Lando here, then he goes Scarf Lari and then he has to Psy Shock. And then he can still win with cr um, If he crits the Steeler, I think, yeah. But it's in CL's favor, obviously, to win. And even if Sabella wins, um, he still has to win another game right after this. And if he wins another game, he has to win another best of three. I'm not sure if they will play it right after or if they will play it next week. So there's the Lando. I assume we see the Gleam or HP Fire. Yeah, HP Fire. So Gleam probably was a roller, didn't kill. So Lottie can click Psy Shock here. And... The thing is, he might have to go Steeler now because... See, like, I get why he went hard land early, but not protected. Now his Steeler is lower than it could be. And now after Rock, Steeler is super low. So now he can lose to Ladi Crit. And I'm not saying he misplayed, but, like, I'm just say stating that he can lose now. Like, like I get that he went hard land, but he didn't vault. But, like, ugh, not having... That, that's, that's us 14. See, like, even after Protect, Crit might be a roll. Or even if he Crit, he didn't even Protect. Oof. If he got crit there, he could have. I think he lost if he got crit there. Yeah, he lost if he got crit there. But he avoided the crit, and now he can just heavy slam because AV gear. I already said it earlier. Runs less speed than Celestila. You want you want to outslow that for slow volt switch. So heavy slam is just gonna uh, flame. Nah, oh, what? He's faster. I'm surprised by that. So either Sabella is not the slower spread, or CL also has negative speed on his Celestila to be slower than Gear. I'm not sure, but yet yeah, Tibalt just finishes it, so it didn't matter there. The only thing that mattered was um, if you got the crit on the on the Sila, that could have mattered. Thank you guys for watching. So CL does win 2-0. Oh, CL um, wins OLT. Uh, what should I call it? Congrats to CL, obviously. Um, good job, good job, my man. Um, I don't know why I said my man. I don't even know. <laughs> that, that sounded so AIDS. <laughs> sounded so bad. But yeah, Sabala had a great run, and... If you want to see Sabella's other games, I recorded them from, I think, Round 8 versus C. Juma that's going to be coming live. And Losers Bracket Finals versus Karen Smith is also going to be coming. He actually played Karen Smith twice. Round 6, I only had the replays uploaded, but um, the, the, the rematch I have live recorded. It was, uh, it was a great series. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a fantastic day. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a more updates today. Maybe, maybe some Snake Draft Finals. We shall see. Um... I'm gonna hit out my man Ultra Balls with some NU games, some LC games from Snake Finals because I obviously don't know those tiers. And yeah, goodbye, see you next time.